Dear students, in this video I am going to explain the projections of planes problem. The problem is something like this. An equilateral triangle of 50 mm side has an edge on the ground and this edge is inclined at 6 degrees to the VP. The plane of the triangle makes an angle of 45 degrees with the HP. Draw the projections. In this problem, very clearly plane inclination or the surface inclination is given, edge inclination is given. When surface inclination, edge inclination both are given, we have to solve the problem in three stages. To get the simple position, you have to extract the information like this. About the surface, the information given is it is 45 degrees to HP. Hence, keep the surface parallel to HP. When the surface is parallel to HP, we will get the two shape and size in the top view. We have to start the problem from the top view. In this way, you have to analyze the data about surface inclination. Then coming to the edge, the data given about the edges, it is 60 degrees to VP. So as the edge is inclined to VP, we have to keep the edge perpendicular to VP in this simple position. Now start drawing the problem. First take the XY line and start drawing the top view. So this is 50, 50 mm line, vertical line. This is representing one edge. This is perpendicular to VP as it is perpendicular to XY. This is perpendicular to VP. Draw the arcs to get the third corner and this is the equilateral triangle ABC. So project the front view like this. This is B dash A dash. When you are looking like this B next A. That's why B dash A dash. Then here we will get C dash. This front view is lying on the XY line because this edge is on the HP. And as you are keeping the entire surface parallel to HP, the entire surface will lie on the x y line that's why the front will come on to the x y line then we have to represent the surface inclination in the second stage so that's why somewhere here randomly you pick one point you call this point as b dash a dash from here take the length of b dash a dash to c dash this length you measure with compass and mark that here at an inclination of 45 degrees at an inclination of 45 degrees like this to get the reduced shape in the top view, draw the projectors like this. This is the projector of B dash A dash. From here, draw the locus line. This locus of A. Here you will get A, and here you will get B. This is the projector of C dash. If you draw the locus from C, here you are going to get C. This is the reduced shape here. Now, this particular edge AC is making an angle of 60 degrees with VP. That's why. Somewhere here, randomly draw a 60 degree line and along this line you mark this AB length. This is AB length. You can measure with compass and you mark that here along 60 degrees. Now to get C point, now take AC distance and A center draw an arc, B center draw an arc, automatically you will get C. Then draw the projectors from the top view, locus from this front view, you will get the final front view here. This is projector of A, this is locus of A dash, somewhere here only you will get A dash. If you draw the projector from B dash, this is the locus of B dash, this is B dash point. This is the projector from C, this is the locus from C dash, here you are going to get C dash. Then the final front view will be like this, A dash, B dash and C dash, if you join, you will get the final front view. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.